What's up, YouTube? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's up? <laughs> okay, y'all. So we have the city of Atlantis behind us, and we always got our amethyst crystal. You know, I don't play about that. But let's go ahead and get into the read, okay? Public service announcements, all right? In the description box below this video, you will see the link to um, book a reading, okay? Readings start at like 35 and up, okay? Um, if you come on my live and if you come on my live, we have deals every day. I was about to say requests, but don't do that, okay? We have deals every day and the deals range from anywhere between $8.88 to twenty-eight twenty-eight. It never exceeds twenty-eight twenty-eight at this time, okay? Now, after you get a mini read when you're online, um, after that, you can't ask me, like, how much will you charge me? There's no reason for you to ask that, okay? Because the price is on the website, okay? The deals is on the Instagram, okay? Also, is Blending Cultures, my daughter's brand. We have Mommy and Me stuff. We have books. We have games. And we have puzzles. So, check us out, okay? Also, on my thumbnail is Couture Love, where my nice, cozy pajamas came from with my robe, okay? I'm a robe kind of girl, okay? Um, you can check that out, too. So what we're going to do now is get into your daily read. What's up, my Scorpios? And I gave you guys this beautiful view of Atlanta, all right? So let's just go ahead and get into it, all right? Okay. All right. All right, you guys will be able to see the cards, okay? So 18, you are both open-hearted and you have the ambition to lead the way, okay? Also, lead the world to a better place, okay? All right, that your goals are aligned with the collective and you need, and your collect, okay, your goals are aligned with the collective's needs and their highest good. I am kind-hearted, okay? So you're a very kind-hearted person. You give to complete strangers or you just over- overly give to people that you love okay and random people but either way you're a kind-hearted person okay okay all right let's see what crystals you need if this reading resonates with you <sighs> did we bring the kipper deck we brought the kipper deck hey <laughs> okay let's see what's going on what's going on looks like there's only one here all right this is the crystal you need what is it for? Who needs it? Anyone with permission, with a permission slip for an intergalactic field trip, okay? So if you want to unlock your highest potential, this is the crystal that you need. And it's only one crystal, so there's no reason for any discrepancies about what crystal we're talking about, okay? This is the one crystal you need if this reading resonates with you, okay? And overall energy, you're kind-hearted, okay? Shelly mixed the man. Shelly mixed the man. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Okay. So, spirit guides and ancestors, we come before you now. Okay. Ooh, the Hierophant. Okay. That was tarot, though. We come before you now to see what's going on with my Scorpios. What's going on in the kitchen? And now we know it's cooking. All right. Spirit guides and ancestors, where do you want me to start first? And where is my good old handy bell? Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Here it is, okay? Um, I ring my bell to get any unwanted energies out of here, okay? Just so y'all know. All right, now, yeah. let's go ahead and bust a wide open book. Bust a wide open. Spirit guides and ancestors, okay? They want me to start here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides and ancestors, we come before you now for a clear message. What's going on with my collective? What they need to know today? Card already fell out, y'all. All right, so self control, okay? Let's see who it is. Let's see what's going on. Self control with their heart. This card is green, okay? This is your heart chakra. So someone is having self control, okay? Maybe trying to keep their self back. Maybe trying to, uh, not keep themselves back. Maybe trying to figure out. I don't know. Okay, we got self control. Let's see what's going on. Dang, they they said what's brewing. Somebody trying to have self control. All right, here we go. What's brewing? Spirit guides and ancestors, we come before you now for a clear message. 
You want to know what's going on in the kitchen? And I don't know what's cooking. All right? Self-control. What we got for self-control, spirit? Okay. All right. Check yourself. Okay, so somebody is trying to gain self-control, and they're trying to check themselves. Okay? So I feel like... Well, let me not speak. Let me just go in and see what I would say. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. And all the colors match. Okay. All right, y'all can see the cards. We got self-control out here. So somebody is trying to have self-control. They're trying to check themselves from what? Coming towards your motherfucking ass. Look at that shit. Taking a leap of faith, okay? This person could be stopping themselves from taking a leap of faith. Well, why, spirit? Why would you stop yourself from taking a leap of faith, okay? We have plan ahead, hands of time, no, and divine protection. So it looks like this person in you may have been in a situation where this person may have told you no, okay? Moved away from you, did not invest in my collective, yeah. And that time, mm -hmm, can't make it up. You see these two cards right here? This one says awakening, okay? And this one says balance in reverse, okay? So someone in this connection was not balanced, okay? The person that wants to take a leap of faith towards you, that person was not balanced. That person did not go through a spiritual awakening in the past. This person may have been trapped by egotistical, ooh, they're showing me the Kipper deck, okay? This person could be trapped by materialistic things, okay? All right? Inside of the dynamic, Okay, so this person is an entrepreneur. This person does work for themselves, okay? That's my entrepreneur sign. All right, so look. Someone had to take self-control. It could have been you, okay? You could have took self-control because um, you wanted to take a leap of faith. But then spirit stopped your ass and said, no, you need to check yourself. Are you giving too much? Is this relationship balanced? And spirit told you no, okay? Or this person told you no which told you to move away from this energy, okay? Now, with you doing that, it was divine protection, okay? Because spirit is trying to get you ready because there is a love, okay, that will stand the hands of time, okay? Where you will be planning ahead and some of you guys will be having kids, okay? Now, spirit is saying it's time for you to check yourself, do, 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 go on and do it, okay? So spirit wants you to check yourself and you did, okay? now okay i also feel like there's some outside energy here and this outside energy was trying to check their heart okay i feel like they really wanted to be with you they really loved you okay but they avoided it they avoided all the signs and synchronicities and they gave you a one-sided relationship that was not balanced okay this person is an entrepreneur this person works a lot okay this person works a lot to try to get your energy off of them okay but spirit said it don't work. Okay, check yourself. This person is going to take a leap of faith. Now, the reason why this happened is because this person was avoiding a spiritual uh, awakening. All right? Maybe this person could have been seeing 999, 111, 222. Either way, this person was like, mm, maybe it's just the time. Okay? After a while, it started to become very aggressive. They realized it wasn't their time. Okay? They started to Google this stuff. And then they were like, I don't want to be a part of this. Okay? All right. They didn't want to be a part of it because the people around them weren't chosen. Okay. Let's see what Spirit's saying. Mm -hmm. All right. So they hit a mask. They had a mask on. With this catfish card in reverse, you knew who the fuck the catfish was. Okay. Now, this person and you will be having a new beginning. With death in reverse, you guys will be having a new beginning. All right. Where they'll be taking their mask off. All blocks will be removed, okay? So this person will not have any blocks. They'll be able to come towards you. Dang, collective, you want them? All right? You guys will not be fighting, okay? Because they're standing up. I told you guys, they're seeing the signs, okay? They're recognizing the signs and synchronicities. This person could be seeing 222, 333, or 444. Whatever the situation may be, this is what is guiding them to you guys, all right? Now, also, there will be no altercation. Now, where they came from, ding, 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 caution, please reverse, okay? So, wherever they were, it was toxic. It was getting to the point where they could have put their hands on somebody and was about to ready to whoop somebody's ass, okay? Proceed with caution, all right? Now, just know, we're going to get into this karmic. We'll, we'll trail down her lightly, okay? 
All right, collective. So what we have here is self-control. During this time of this person, uh, 86 giraffes, okay? They're going through a spiritual awakening now. You are too. You gain balance. This person is going to be coming back to you. This person works a lot, okay? Let's just put that out there. But this person definitely wore a mask with you. This person could wear a lot of button-up shirts when they go to work, okay? But also this person could um, not have a uniform, okay? This person could just go to work however they feel okay but this person is an entrepreneur now we have hands of time planning ahead um altercation in reverse new beginning in reverse okay so spirit is saying that you guys you and this person will have a new beginning okay this person is going to come back towards you all right we don't have a karmic out here as of yet but this person is going to come back towards you because they feel like the love that you guys have will test the hands of time okay they also want to plan ahead with you all right they want to plan a future with you and some of these people want to get married spirit is saying there will be no roadblocks if this person can pay attention to the signs and synchronicity that the universe is giving to them it will lead them right back to you guys okay all right spirit we want to know is there anything else for us to know about love okay with this person okay so spirit is saying when they come in you should flirt don't hold any grudges any grudges flirt with this person okay it says extend your lighthearted energy to others okay so when this person comes in it's been on some good loving i need some good loving all right Spirit is saying that the reason why you were waiting for it is because this relationship involved marriage, okay? But you were this person's soulmate, okay? So this marriage had to come down, all right? Hence what this caution is now, okay? So since she has introduced herself to the reading or he has, that's, let's branch from there because that was caution, okay? Because you were their soulmate, all right? And they didn't know that with um, worth waiting for in reverse, they already thought they found their soulmate. Ah. Then corrected, okay? You ain't find shit, okay? You found a lesson, okay? <laughs> That's what they found, okay? So we have out here caution and wedding, all right? So let's see what's going on in the kitchen. And now I know what's cooking, all right? Okay, remember, we got kind-hearted, so you need to be in a more flirting energy when this person comes to you. Now we're branching the reading down from what? Caution and wedding, all right? So spirit, what happened, okay? What happened in this? Okay, it's the karmic. What happened in this wedding? Would it need to be so much caution? Is spirit not even telling me to go to that. Spirit is actually telling me to go to a deck I do not even see. Because y'all know I ain't, I ain't got on my cards. All right, what's going on in this wedding, spirit? What's going on in this marriage dynamic that is causing caution? Let's see despair damn okay so there's major despair in this marriage okay um they don't do anything natural together so this person and whoever they're with they could just eat out a lot okay but there's a lot of despair spirit is saying proceed with caution damn despair that's a horrible descriptive word okay so inside a marriage okay there's a lot of despair these two people do not love each other. These two people do not care. I believe they stay together for the kids. Spirit, what else you want? Dang, okay. Yeah, okay. So there's no forgiveness in this relationship, in this marriage. There's no passion in this marriage, okay? And <laughs> this person is now making themselves available, all right? So if this person is married, this person is now available, Um there's no remit there's no amending this marriage and there's no passion in here all right all the cards came up in reverse you can see them okay there's no passion all right so spirit shit that's crazy all right that's crazy spirit wants us to go to spiritualist fuck cards spirit what do you want us to tell what do you want us to tell what do you want to tell us about this marriage The wound is the place where the light enters through. Okay, so this person got backstabbed. And the place that this wife or this husband stabbed a hole in it, which is, is also the place that the light shined through, where this energy realized that this is not for their highest good, okay? So there is a wedding dynamic here, really a marriage. I don't know why I keep saying that, where it is caution, it's toxic, okay this marriage involves despair there's no passion here no one forgives every anyone they just brush things under the rug okay 
Mm, 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 mm. And somebody tried to manipulate someone with a pregnancy. Okay. Now, here it looks like this pregnancy did not go full term because the card came up in reverse. Okay. So someone may have manipulated a particular energy um, for um, financial gain for a baby. That shit didn't work. Okay. Spirit, can we have clarifying cards with this pregnancy? Spirit, can I have clarifying cards about this pregnancy? Spirit, can I have clarifying? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody was backstabbed in the back with this pregnancy. It could be with a friend, okay? Somebody could have smashed a homie, shawty. How you gonna be out here smashing a homie, shawty? That shit is disrespectful. But somebody could have been out here smashing the homie, okay? Now, this reading with the smashing of the homies has came several times for me at this point. And I'm just like, what's, what's, you can't find nobody else to have sex with except this man homeboy or this girl homeboy, okay? But either way it go, somebody smashed the homies. Sorry, guys. Somebody smashed the homies and backstabbed somebody, all right? So this baby could very well be somebody else's, not yours, not their husband's, not their wife's, okay? Mm. All right, so a wife dynamic, okay? Definitely a wife, because she's prego. All right, got backstabbed, heartbroken, pain, separation, all right? So she did all this, okay, to get back at this masculine. Damn, why though? Who does that? Let me see. Oh, nope, I don't like that, okay. So let's see why. Why did this wife energy spirit do this? To get back at their husband. Alright. Why spirit? Oh spirit had to check this person. Okay so this could be a masculine. This could be a masculine energy. Okay because this came out again. And I said why spirit? And spirit is saying this person had to go through this karma. This was karma. Okay. So this person was marrying okay now this person may have stepped outside of their marriage because there was no passion this person was completely unavailable whoever they were dating they were unavailable emotionally for this person this man okay so this man decided to step to the collective okay but there was a lot of self-control with this woman that he stepped to she was not like you know a loose betty girl all right she was actually someone that had class all right dignity integrity <laughs> And this self-control between this man and this woman, which was an outside party, um, basically allowed this person to come into an alignment with spirit, which is beautiful, okay? This person could have been an earth angel because it says higher self. So this person could have been very, very spiritual. Now, this person pushed the divine, okay, masculine in this situation into an awakening, okay? Because this divine masculine was not balanced, okay? This person was not balanced. This person thought about money, greed, materialistic things. But the one thing this person didn't have was love, okay? So this person took no leap of faith towards you, okay? Because they felt like it was a lot of work. So they moved towards a marriage situation, okay? This situation involves a marriage. This person in this marriage was unavailable, okay? Most of the time for passion. This person was unforgiving. So they would bring up a lot of old shit this person would do. And this person, in this marriage that they were with, there was no passion. So there was no sexual chemistry at all. This divine masculine was in major despair or feminine. Take it as it resonates, okay? Now, some of these women thought that if they were to get pregnant with this person's baby, they would trap them, okay? It was a way to backstab them because of financial gain, all right? Someone did use a baby to backstab someone. I feel like somebody smashed a homie, all right? And Spirit is saying this wound had to come this way because... The wound, okay, shined light on the situation, all right? Spirit is also saying, use caution, caution, eh, 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 eh. Get out of this marriage as soon as you can, all right? Because look, this person is unavailable. This person could have smashed your homies or got pregnant by another energy, all right? Now, spirit guides and ancestors was guiding this person to you, and now they are paying attention to these, okay, signs and synchronicities. And my last past reading, this shit has been in reverse, but finally, a motherfucker can see. I can see clearly now the rain is gone, all right? So somebody can see clearly now that the goddamn rain is gone, okay? All right. 
This is what we got for the collective read. All right, let's see what messages that we have from Spirit, all right? I can speak clear. Spirit, guys, and ancestors, what do you want to tell us, all right? For my collective. What does this person wants to say in the 5D? There is not enough information at this point. Be observant and be patient, okay? So Spirit wants you guys to know that things are changing, okay? If you're looking in a, a, a marriage situation, things are changing, right? There's not enough information right now at this point, but be observant and be patient, which means that things are unraveling at this very moment, okay? It could mean that this divine masculine or divine feminine energy doesn't know that somebody smashed the homies, but they're about to know, okay? It is about to come out, all right? In reverse means it's been revealed. It has not been revealed as of yet, okay? But it is going to be revealed, this backstabbing energy, okay? Spirit, is there any more messages you want to tell us before we end this reading? For my Scorpio. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Partnership requires compromise, an open mind, and a loving heart. Spirit wants you to know that when this person comes back in, you need to be kind, sweet, cute, and flirty, okay? Spirit is saying, look, partnership requires compromise. This person had to go through a lot to get to you, all right? Don't meet this person with aggression, all right? Because this person is going to be beat up, bruised, and battered by the time they come back. What you have been through only can make you stronger the worst is over okay so this person is going to be getting drugged okay currently or in the near future and spirit is trying to tell them be strong okay the worst is over now it's gonna be good times okay they're coming back to the collective hey y'all okay post pictures of you and your boo okay now here we go so look this person is going to be hit with forgiveness and you are too forgiveness in reverse forgiveness is amazing powerful and liberating liber liberating it does not mean you permit others to mistreat you but rather that you move on from it okay so this person is going to have to use their throat chakra and tell this wife energy that they don't want to be with them anymore and it could be um it could be a masculine energy has to tell their wife that they want to move on. But Spirit is saying, look, forgiveness is amazing. Forgive them from their discretions, okay? Um, this person had a lot of signs and synchronicity that they should have gotten out of this marriage way before my collective came into their lives, okay? So don't feel like you had something to do with this or anything like that, okay? So let's see when this divine masculine or feminine will be coming towards my collective. When will this person be coming towards my collective? Spirit said it's up to you, all right? Now, the reason why Spirit is saying it's up to your ass, all right, okay, is because you have work that you have to do too, like eating right, exercising, grounding yourself, taking off your shoes. All of these things are things that you need to be doing for yourself. Also, it's up to them. They did you wrong. They have to bring their ass back over here and apologize, okay? Don't bring your ass over there just because I told you that they think about you. That's not enough, okay? Now, this person has to choose the right decisions okay they have to choose the right direction okay now in the past it was very unlikely that they went in the right direction and they know that okay all right how long will this person take to come towards my collective how long will this person take to come towards my collective okay they thought that there was nothing better than where they was at that was a lie okay all right so they're going to be coming in the next few weeks all right so get ready, y'all. Get that hair done, nails done, everything did because they're coming in the next few weeks, okay? And everyone that was around them, they had to be unmasked, okay? This is my card for people that are helpful, but this is my like, living my life like this golden. This is my tribe card, but it's in reverse, okay? So um, it's unlikely that this person is going to share what they're doing, okay? They're not gonna share what they're doing, but they know that it's up to them to go to the right direction. And they're going to be coming towards you guys in a few weeks because they know that you are something better. Okay. All right, collective. See you later, guys. Bye. I love you. <laughs>